technology never stops advancing. You know, that's just a fact of life. 20 years ago, we thought technology at the time was impressive. Nowadays, it seems obsolete. I can still remember vividly when I was a kid, the day that we changed from 56k dial-up internet over to 512k broadband and how amazingly fast it seemed. Nowadays, I get frustrated if the 4G on my phone is even close to that sort of speed. And cameras are no different. Cameras years ago were high-tech at the time. Today, they're almost rudimentary compared to modern cameras. And we consider the cameras of today to be high-tech. But in reality, 20 years from now, things will just be on a whole nother level. So what might we see from cameras in the future? Well, you know, this isn't rumors. This is purely guesswork. First and foremost, I think dedicated cameras will still be around. You know, smartphones are improving, but they'll never be able to fit a large sensor or have changeable lenses. Secondly, I imagine global shutters will be fairly mainstream by then. We've got resolutions and shooting speeds continuing to climb, which means we need faster readout speeds. And we've already seen huge improvements in the last few years with the likes of stacked sensors that I think global shutters just cannot be that far off. Also wouldn't surprise me to see curved sensors starting to work their way into the market, but these would require whole new systems from a manufacturer. So I think this one might take a bit longer to work its way into the mainstream. Then with the ever increasing resolutions, the faster and faster burst rates, demand for greater buffer depth, increasing resolutions of video, as well as higher quality video, all of this is more information that a camera's not, not only got to process, but be able to store somewhere. And memory card speeds are greatly improving, but I can't help but feel that they're going to become more and more of a bottleneck. So I think eventually we might start to see cameras migrate towards built-in storage, very similar to the trends of, of phones. You know, phones used to carry minimal onboard storage and were reliant on expandable storage for memory cards. Nowadays, phones carry huge amounts of onboard storage, many with, without even offering the option of a memory card. Presumably because onboard is faster, as well as not having to take up as much space. Now, this isn't a new idea. We've already seen from at least one camera, the Zeiss ZX-1, carries a 512 gig onboard SSD rather than a memory card slot, which also then allows it to have Lightroom installed on the camera so you can edit pictures on the fly, which is something else that I could see becoming a bit more mainstream but I think cameras might still keep an expandable storage as an, an, a redundancy option. So if you fill up the onboard storage, you can move files straight over to the memory cards instead. Another change I think we might start seeing from cameras that we've already seen from phones is batteries becoming built in and having faster charging capabilities. I mean, there's no denying battery life in cameras has been improving greatly in recent years to the point now that many people can get through a full day of shooting on a single battery. But for those who can't, they can carry a spare and quickly swap them over. However, external batteries then require a protective casing around them, which then increases their size and or reduces the amount of space inside for battery cells. Also means the camera needs a facility to be able to access and remove the battery i.e. a battery compartment and a door, which then becomes a weak point for the weather sealing of the camera. A fitted battery would allow for smaller size or greater capacity, whilst potentially freeing up space inside the camera for more hardware. And I doubt battery life would become much of a concern, you know, given the charging speed of phones these days. My Sony camera charger has an output of 7.5 watt. A lot of phones are hitting the far side of 30. Hell, last year, Xiaomi demonstrated a 200-watt phone charger. That would fully charge the FZ100 battery in about seven minutes from flat. Granted, it would demolish a battery's health a lot faster, and I doubt we'd ever really see those sorts of speeds mainstream, but it definitely shows the potential of being able to charge your camera quickly on the fly and never needing to worry about carrying spare batteries. But, you know, those are just my predictions for features that we'll see on cameras of the future. What do you think we'll see on them? Let me know in the comments down below. While you're down there, if you enjoyed this video and you haven't already done so, then please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons. And then hopefully we'll see you in the next video.